Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone, Editor-in-Chief of the Woodworkers Journal Magazine. Today we're going to look at a task that CNC routers can do exceptionally well, and that's making signs. Making signs is not only fun and easy with a CNC router, but can also become practical as lots of small shop fellows have discovered that making signs and selling them is a way to make a couple extra bucks on the side. How easy is it? Let me show you. Making a simple sign is very easy. Uh, all you have to do is uh, go to the text file, type something in that you think would work good for a, a sign. I want to center it. Okay, I've got a sign, Rob Johnstone. It's as simple as that. After testing the cutting program using scrap lumber, I used MDF material for that task. I got started cutting my sign. In this case, I used a ball and router bit to do the machining after selecting it from the bit library that is included in the software with a CNC Shark machine. As you can see, I used some flame figured maple for this first sign, cutting deeply into the surface of the board. I wanted the recessed letters to create plenty of shadow so that they could be easily read from a distance. The machine cuts steadily away following its programmed instructions. As with any routing task in hardwood lumber, it's a very good idea to use a sharp router bit. Using a CNC offers no special protection from tear-outs or burning, although you can adjust how quickly the machine moves as it cuts. After it's cut out, apply a coat of shellac. For many signs, just the recess, just the, the, the shadow lines caused by the lettering will be enough to bring out the words uh, very well. But there's a couple other things that we can do to accentuate those uh, letters even more. And I'll show you about that in just a minute. Here's a great way to get some contrast in your sign's lettering. First, paint it black or some other color and then let the, the lettering uh, show off the contrast as it's being cut away. Here, we'll take a look at it. This next sign blank is made from quarter sawn Douglas fir. I sanded it very smooth and then put a couple of coats of black lacquer on the surface. As the router removes the surface material, the exposed wood in the lettering provides a dramatic contrast to the black lacquer. Additionally, the quarter sawn grain in the fir adds a unique bit of texture to the letters. All in all, a very effective presentation. That's how easy it is to make signs using a CNC router. I'm Rob Johnstone for Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching and keep on making sawdust.